Hello everyone, uh, Jim Staley here. Wanted to, uh, I know it's kind of late, but I have a prayer request. Um, first of all, thank you all of you guys out there that have been praying for me uh, and for Rob Skiba. I know that uh, Rob is, is getting better uh, slowly, very slowly, but surely. And we're just, we're grateful to the Father that he is, uh, that he is uh, recovering. And thank you for your prayers uh, for me as well. I have been extremely sick this last week and uh, praise God I'm up on my feet and just kind of slowly moving through it um, minute by minute and getting a little bit better uh, each and every hour of the day and uh, today of course we celebrated Yom Kippur and uh, in the middle of our family service we received um, probably one of the biggest gut punches that we've received in a long time um, YouTube has canceled uh, and deleted our entire YouTube channel of 50,000 plus subscribers and uh, in millions of views over 500 videos that have been uploaded over the last five years and uh, they just deleted uh, our YouTube channel without any warning without any strikes uh, their own protocols and policies say that we're supposed to have uh, two strikes before um, they actually delete our our channel and um, we didn't we have no idea why they are deleting our channel um, they didn't give us any kind of clue whatsoever i just got an email saying that uh, that they're going to basically because of extreme uh, uh, breaking of their policies or multiple um, infractions they are uh, they're deleting our channel so we're just asking for a lot of prayer uh, right now. That That's a, a really big deal, obviously, as that is how we get the message out in this ministry is through you, primarily through YouTube. But it just goes to show you uh, just where our cancel culture is at right now and uh, where we are at um, in America, where you can't even uh, mention God. You can't even you mention anything about it seems like uh, the things that we talk about, which are not even political or, or social political or controversial in that realm, um, I have refrained from that since I've been home uh, for a reason, because I strategically wanted to get to a place where um, um, I wanted to get to a place where, where we had um, migrated all of our videos over to our website or to another platform before I stretched uh, uh, my controversial wings, if you will. And, uh, and apparently, I guess they beat me to it. I don't know. So it, uh, we really need your prayers right now on two fronts. One, that we get our YouTube channel reinstated. Uh, we've appealed uh, this with YouTube, uh, asking them to cite the reason why they deleted our channel with no warning whatsoever. And I find it ironic that they claim that, that uh, they've deleted it because we've broken their policy, yet they didn't even follow their own policy of giving us any warning on any video. We've never even had a video flagged uh, for inappropriate material. So not sure exactly what's going on there. Hopefully it's a mistake. And um, <coughs> hopefully uh, we can get it reinstated uh, long enough to let everybody know um, we need to start... Uh, migrating people onto an email list and a phone list and that was something that we're going to do in the future for those of you that are watching this right now um, eventually we're basically going to move to kind of uh, um, more of, of what some of the other uh, high content creators are doing with uh, text messaging and uh, um, on email list so we need to be able to stay communicated uh, stay connected uh, with you guys because we are definitely were uh, moving into a space in in America where communication uh, space is limited for those of us that are believers and have certain belief systems or support Israel and so on and so forth um, that it's only a matter of time before we're going to be squeezed out of all those places and so my second prayer request is that uh, the father would raise up um, a second social media uh, company that can compete with big tech and give people like uh, our ministry here at Passion for Truth uh, another place to host our videos and to uh, reach out uh, to uh, this world with the message that God's put inside of us. So 
at the end of the day, uh, this has been a uh, man, it's, it's been real kind of a gut punch, but on the other side, um, we know that God works all things together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And we know that the father is going to, uh, I believe in my spirit, we're, we're going to get it reinstated for a period of time. And this was a great wake up call for us to say, Hey, we cannot rely on, uh, big tech to protect, uh, the little guy and and in ministry so uh, we've we've going to have to start moving our stuff into more protected realms and so we've already been uh moving in that direction today thought process wise and of all times uh for this to happen on yom kippur i thought was very uh ironic so anyway i do pray that all of you had a good yom kippur for those of you that are celebrating to uh celebrated today i know our fast was good we had a fantastic time with our family and uh and then we celebrated after sundown by going out to eat at texas roadhouse and i had a nice steak uh and that's always a great way to close out yom kippur so anyway love you guys thank you so much uh, for your support for this ministry we would not be able to exist or function without you um, but right now um, we are asking for your prayers and not just for the youtube situation but for our ministry in general um, we are, we seem to be the front line of attack, uh, that anytime the enemy, uh, every seem, it seems like every time we turn around, the enemy is attacking us to try to take down this ministry. Uh, six years ago, it happened by me, uh, going to prison and the enemy, uh, hijacking our, our ministry and trying to pull it down before, uh, and deleted our YouTube channel the last time. Um, except that was, uh, <laughs> those were supposed to be friends of mine. Uh, our YouTube channel got deleted, our Facebook channel got deleted, and we had to start over from scratch. So uh, to have to start over again would be extremely disappointing. So anyway, please pray for us, pray for our family, and uh, pray that we'll get through this little hump and that this will be simply just a good uh, warning uh, for us to start migrating our stuff in different directions. So all right, you guys, have a great evening. We're headed uh, down to Sukkot tomorrow morning and um, to set up for our group. And I pray that you guys have a fantastic Sukkot as well. All right. Shalom.